Well, how do that chums? I'm back inside of the expedition. Last time we completed expedition phase one. Now we're moving on to phase two. Witness the Atlas. I'm only going to touch on the ones inside of this that actually caused me a problem. I'm just going to give you the best tips. I'm fairly sure you know how to find the Atlas, but if you don't, you just got to visit the Atlas Station. So here we go. Let's see if it appears on the old galactic map already, which it might. Um, it's pointing me there for some reason. I don't see an Atlas logo on there, but I'm going to jump there anyway. Here we go. I know, riveting, right? Okay, well, I've arrived, Dakota. And yes, sure enough, there's the Atlas right there, people. So, yep, even though it doesn't put an Atlas marker on it, just follow the current mission and it should take you to an Atlas station. Yeah. It does say there to summon the space anomaly, doesn't it? I didn't need to. Didn't need to. No! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, chums. I'm not being funny, but I've been, like, warping for, like, like, pulsing for freaking time! I don't think that's a real freaking marker. Because it should appear. And it should be on my radar. I mean, there is something on my radar. And I think I, think I see a black dot behind it, but it's hard to freaking say, mate. But I... Oh, that was a bloody... That was an asteroid. I've been, good, I've been doing this for ages. I've just recharged my freaking fuel I was doing it for so long, people. Okay. All right, fine. I don't think that's a true marker. I don't. I'm going in the old Nexus. And look, I don't see anything there. Look, there's nothing... Ah, uh, what the flying fudge? It put... No, that's just broken as you like, mate. All right, you do have to go inside of the freaking space anomaly. You do. Okay, I changed my mind. Well, would you looky looky? Someone's got a little logo above their head. Hello, mate. Yeah, I'm looking for the Atlas. You gonna freaking help me? Yeah, I was talking about the Crimson Liar. That's what he calls the Atlas. It's his, it's his nickname. Yeah, given by this daft punk looking type individual. All right, brilliant. All right, yeah, I'm up for that one. Okay. Have I got to now speak to Polo? Normally you have to speak to Polo. No, apparently not. No, you don't. Okay, right. Well, we're going out then. I do quite like this wing ship. I do like these sort of like little armatures on the wings. The one that I've got inside of my actual proper save, it has got the same nose. So, yeah, kind of cool. Right, anyway, let's fly on out and let's go and do the old galactic map again. And then it's going to give me a, hopefully this time, a little bit more of an indication that there's an Atlas station in there. So we go. Let's, let's go for it. See, what I'm used to seeing is a little... Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm used to seeing. A bit of a different coloured line. And look, it's got an Atlas marker there. That's what I'm used to seeing. Okay, we're on our way for the second time today. Right, people. Well, that confusion, I don't know whether that was caused by my own stupidity or by Hello Games' programming work or the fact that I'm actually playing with the network cable still pulled out of my machine. Yeah, because um, otherwise my game doesn't load. Ha! Done a video on it. I'll see a link up there for that video. If you can't load into No Man's Sky and are wondering why, that might fix it. I'm just take a network cable out in summary, people. Saves you four minutes of time watching my video. There you go. I know I'm super kind. Super kind. Anyway, let's uh, let's jump out of the ship. Let's go talk to this giant freaking marble of death. It doesn't look too inviting, does it? You know. If you received a giant freaking invite and it had that on it as the picture of the person that sent you the invite, you're not going to attend, are you? Unless you're freaking tapped in that freaking nugget. Right, let's go on over here then. Let's head on over. Let's pick up the free warp fuel. Yeah, here you go. Here's an amazing tip. Interact with those pedestals. Get yourself some warp cells. Lovely. Hello there, marble of evil. How are you? You notice it's got little llamas on the top of those triangles up there. Don't know what that's all about. Llama, llama, llama. I guess I do like when I'm... Right, here we go. Let's go for all this then. Now, yeah, there is quite a lot of lore to have in all of this stuff. I'm just going to freaking surrender, mate. Go for it. Yeah, it's futile. I know this. Yeah. A flicker of purple. That'd be the Void Mother. Lovely jubbly. And I I've read all this in my other playthrough, and I gave you my synopsis in my other playthrough. This is my best tips video. So there you go. That, that should do the freaking trick, mate. Yeah, hopefully we're going to pop the first badge in a bit. Okay. Well, I've arrived located on this lush marble. Uh, right, it's pretty toxic. Ah, fudging heck, and there's a giant worm. Hello, wormy worm, worm, worm. Cool here. 
Well, anyway, we're going to the here. We digress. We get we get easily distracted on this channel, people. We do. Okay, cool. We got that one then. Right, we're gonna make that. I need tritium. I've got loads of tritium. Where's my freaking ship? It's full of tritium. My ship is full of tritium. Um, ship, 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 ship. All the way over there. How far over there? No, oh, 500 years. Oh, I can walk 500 years. I was going to call it to me. But there you go. I'll head back to my ship. Yeah, see? I knew I had tritium in my ship because I shot those 55 asteroids in phase one. So there we go. Let's make that lovely and jubbly. That is now installed. Reveal memory. Oh, we've got to do it in space, though, people. Okay, we didn't spend long on that freaking planet, did we? You know what, though? Oh, okay. Did you just teleport me from there down to there for no freaking reason, you get back? Okay, right, here we go then. Let's uh, go and pop that. Boom. Right, pulse drive. Yes, okay. I'm on my way. Boom. Oh, hello, Jalapash. It's the child of Helios. Hello there, child of Helios. Good you. Hello there, mate. Yes. I'll absorb your memories. It sounds a little bit dodgy, doesn't it? But, well, it is what it is. I'm going to get a picture of that. Freaking lovely. Look at that. That is pretty darn freaking majestically awesome, isn't it? Ha, oh, you don't see that every day. Okay, cool. There we are. That's how you get that badge then. All right, fine. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Done. That was pretty darn freaking easy, to be fair. We've learned a new formula. I'm going to have to get all that stuff when we're on the next planet. Eh? Yeah. Talking of which, I could just go jump through there and uh, head to uh, the old planet. Well, we're going to head down to our base. We've got to do some more decorations for the base. That's the next badge. Whoops, that one there. Yeah, we've got to do that now, people. All right, well, I head back to my base. I'm going into the station to use their teleporter, Terminus. In every space station, chums, I interact with this because you can buy yourself quite a cheap slot for your exosuit. And also, I run around these desks over here and I look for any of these sort of like little per um, blue cubes or orange cubes or little flat disks and they give you navigational data just because you can. You know, everyone loves a freebie. Heck, yes, they do. You head on over here. Sometimes they're on counters as well with the NPCs. And then over this side, sometimes you can find them on a big desk that's usually around here, but there's not a big desk on this one. Okay, I'm going to jump back to my base and decorate it. Okay, well, I'm back at my old base, and as you can see, I've got things to build, and again, I haven't got the resources, so I just press triangle to go into the wire mode, and then press the R2 button to place, and the wire mode button again, which is triangle, so R2 and triangle at the same time. And eventually, there you go, I managed to glitch it in. It's all about timing. I find this a lot easier to do on my Xbox control pad than on my PlayStation 1. It's very odd. Now I've got a load of wires everywhere, and they're all stuck in the ground. Fun times! Okay, let's try that again. Uh, come on! Give me, give me, give me glass! There we are, there we are, there we are, there we are. I've got loads on now. And give me all the glass I ever need. Thank you very much. Alright. Well, I'm going to stick the windows in anyway, because I want to. There you are. I have one window there. I have another window there. Alright, now what? I need glass tubes. Okay, fine. Um... Let's go this way then. Oh, great. I need to glitch a couple of these in now. Come on. It's easier if I go into camera mode, actually. There we are. There's a couple. There's a load. Yeah, there. I went on to the wrong one. There we are. I'll stick that in. Stick two there. And construct a biodome. Well, why is it not saying that I've done that? Oh, because I've got to do three. That's why. There we go. Glass biodome. I'll stick that there. Lovely. Okay, coolio. You know what? I'm, I might stick an, an additional one over on. Yeah. I'll put down another one. And I want that one to be sort of sandwiched onto the back of this one, if possible. Uh, let's uh, let's get another one of those little. Let's put one of these corridors in, and I'll stick it say there, and hopefully I can put the other glass biodome there. And then what I was thinking is, so I've got easy access into this, is just sticking some doors either sides. Why the fudge not? And I've got these two little grow rooms for everything I could ever need that this base wants. Okay, cool. Right. So now what am I going to build? 
Okay, little wall screens. Let's put these inside, shall we? Let's go on in. And I'll stick. I think there's three of them that you need, isn't there? So I'll put one there. Boom. One there. And you know what? Just just, just because I can, I'm going to rotate that one round that way. Chicka boom! Okay, cool. I've got those. And now a octo cabinet. I don't know how that's a cabinet. But it, it looks better on the wall than anywhere. I'll stick that there. Fine. There you go. All right, and now the desk chair. So this used to need star silk. They've fixed that. So you know what I said at the start, bring some star silk with you. It's because you needed star silk originally to make this chair. It looks like they've patched that out because that was a git. Okay, there we go. That's in there. Done. Okay, hexagonal table. I'm going to stick that over there. There we go. Got this little mess hall type thing going on in here now. All right, and then the actual bug was around this point where you had to put in a ceiling light of all things i think ah we had to go up and get the ceiling light plans from the anomaly let's go get them then Coolio. i haven't uploaded my base again yet but yeah this is the ceiling light caused the big problem in phase two originally and by the way people just as a little sub tip every single time you jump to a new system you can upgrade your exosuit inside of the station Call in the Nexus and head to this terminal, and you can upgrade it yet again. Yes, and it's the same sort of money as previous. So there you go. Very nice and easy to get storage slots quite quick on every jump. It really does help, especially in this expedition where you get a finite sort of resource areas. Oh, uh, whoops, I spoke to the wrong guy. But anyway, while I'm here, I might as well get myself the economy scanner, because that might come in handy later. Thank you very much, mate. Okay, cool. Let's head on over here then. And let's go get the base part that I need. The ceiling light. Nice. Brilliant. You know what? I'm half tempted to grab myself a um, teleporter terminus while I'm here, if I haven't already got one. Just because, you know, if I do have more than one base, I can just teleport between the two. And also, I might get the appearance modifier. So when I do get my... Oh, I think we've already got it. It's already unlocked. Oh, that's lovely. That's cool. Uh, right, yeah. And we've already got that. Okay, cool. All right, ignore me. It looks like we've also got the uh, nutrient processor. Cool. Another little tip. Instead of flying all the way back down to your base, head on up this ramp, past this guy that looks like a freaking demon, and there's a giant portal right here, people. You can use that to jump back to your base. Saves on some time. Saves on some warp fuel. Saves on some launch thruster fuel. Well, not warp fuel. Pulse, you know what I mean. Okay, well, we're back at base, and as you can see, there's no power at night time because my solar panels don't work. They shouldn't work anyway because I've got them indoors, but they bloody do. All right, cool. Um, what's next, then, in the way of base building? Um, let's go to the expedition, make sure I've got it selected. Right. Input the ceiling light. There you go. I just had to reselect the mission there. You see that, people? It can be a little bit finicky. Now, you know what? I think this actually looks better rather than the ceiling light as a freaking table. Yeah, I kind of do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it in there. Yeah, might get in the way actually walking around stuff. But yeah, I I, th I think it looks nice as a table. Oh, didn't light up though, did it? And it, it even though it looked like I was putting it in the center of the room, blinking wasn't. All right, well it you know what? After you've put things down though, if you don't like it, you can delete it. Now with this ceiling light, you need to select the leg, okay? And then it let you delete it. If you try deleting it any other way. Sometimes you end up deleting your whole freaking base. It's a right pain in the neck, that piece. I hate that ceiling light with a passion. Okay, here we go. Hello, games. Fix your ceiling light. Okay, cool. We've done that then. Enter into a black hole is the next one, people. I'm fairly sure this is going to be as easy as it sounds. Just fly out to the galactic map and boom, done. Why is... Oh, yeah, it's on that landing pad. I could have gone out the other blinking door, couldn't I? All right, fine. Let's just jump in this end. Let's fly on up. And let's go through the galactic map and through a black hole. There we are. Lovely. I don't think there's anything in this phase two that's overly taxing, to be fair, people. I honestly don't. But there's just a few things that are a bit fiddly. It's like that whole Atlas scenario at the start there. That that wasn't self-explanatory, was it? Oh, in here, if you, if you press L1 and then hold it, or whatever, the shoulder buttons, you can do barrel rolls. Barrel rolls! It doesn't work with the new ship, the um, runner ship, and it doesn't seem to work with living ships, but it works with most others. From one loading screen into another loading screen, so you've got to fly straight into that black hole. Now, if you wanted to, you could fly into the old station. 
and get another exosuit upgrade. Call in the old Nexus as well, or the Space Anomaly. Get another exosuit upgrade if you really wanted to. Or if you're impatient like me, you just fly straight in the back black hole. Yeah. Well, well, I've arrived at the other side. Oh, okay. And there's part. It's just normal freighter interaction, isn't it? It's not like one of those big majestic ones. No, it's not. So all I do to get out of this sort of scenario, people, is I just fly into the station. It's usually behind you. You can see it on your galactic, on your little radar thing down there. It's usually denoted by like an orange triangle-y type thing or a squarey box thing. But yeah, just fly into the old station. As you can see here, it's not showing up on mine at the moment. But yeah, last one. We'll just fly in. And that, that gets rid of the heat. While I'm in there, I'm just going to expand my um, exosuit, like I mentioned earlier. I'm probably not going to bother calling in the old Nexus, though, and doing it a second time. But if you do get that encounter, you don't get the badge pop-up until you get rid of the encounter. So that's a little tip there. You have to get into safety before the actual badge appears, people. There you are. Boom. Done, dilly and done. What's next on the old agenda? Build a wonders projector! Well, we've just gone through a black hole that's taken me well off the beaten track. So, oh yeah, I'm going to go and... Oh look, we've got some repair kits. Nice. All right, well, um, we've got three of the dang things. and I might as well use one, might I? So let's go into here. Starship, while I'm right next to it. And I still haven't repaired this, so I'm just going to hit X to repair it. And then I'm going to apply a repair kit, which is a square button for me. There you go, that saved me some resources, didn't it? Put that to good use. Anyway, up here, lovely jubbly. Head on over, and I'm going to increase my storage capacity. Chicka pow. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to stick it right there. Thank you. Cool, yeah. And now I'm going to go over to the teleporter over here, teleport back to my base, and we're going to put in the wonders projector. Oh, something to add though, people. You need to go into your discoveries page. And you need to actually set something as a wonder. So I'm going to go back to maybe the very first system we was in, where I scanned a load of freaking creatures. Um, which one, which one, which one would be the first system? Oh, great. Because I'm on my legacy save, it's got every single freaking thing here, hasn't it? So I just want to go for the one that was discovered by Hello of the Games, really, then, don't I? Shoulder of the Atlas, blah, 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 blah. Hello Games, here we go. And I think it was Plant Hounslow, maybe, that I was on originally. No, I'm trying to find something. Oh, you know what? We're just, we're just, we're just add Planet Hanslow to the freaking wonders. There you go, L3. Yeah, I want to put it right there, mate. Yeah, Hounslow. I don't know. I'll just call it Planet. There we are, Planet. There you go, done. I've now got a wonder that I can assign to my wonders projector. I would have much rather have had a fauna or something. Yeah, anyway, let's just jump back to my planet. I mean, I could scan an animal on the planet and add it, couldn't I? Okay, well, I'm back at me old base. Lovely jubbly. Let's go in then. Let's install that wonders projector. I'm thinking about putting it near to that sort of thing that I've got on the wall, if I can. If I can stick it there, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Or even if I could put it on this table right here. So I just glitched that in using the wire technique that I've been showing you all the freaking time, people. There you go. It's in. We've got it in. I'm just going to stick it. I'm just going to put the wonder in there as well. Select new wonder. Well, I've only got one, mate. I wonder which one I'm going to pick. I, I wonder indeed. There you go. Done. That looks freaking majestic, actually, doesn't it? All right, let's jump into here then. Pop that badge. Lovely and jubbly. Cool, yeah. Done, dilly and done. We've got all the Minotaur plans as well. Minotaurs are handy for extreme weather planets. Otherwise, we will bother with them. Oh, they're also good for traversing the ocean, believe it or not. They actually go at the same speed and jump at the same speed as if they were on land. So, yeah, I actually prefer traversing the sea in my Exomech than I do the Nautilus. Ah, go figure. All right, here we go. We've got that then. Let's go back to my old ship and let's uh, go on over to the next rendezvous. And that's going to be phase two pretty dark. Okay, now because I hadn't got the network cable in, I couldn't see any sort of comms balls, which is actually a bonus, because, you know, comms balls can be a bit of a pain in the freaking backside, can't they? But we've arrived, located at the rendezvous point, so I just had to walk here. I might just call in my shifty ship. Sweet, so we've arrived, located. Let's call in the old ship then. Put that there. Let's go pop this badge. Chikapow! We've got ourselves a multi tool inventory slot. Nice! Cool, don't mind if I do. 
Now, if you don't want it to be, say, there, you can move it to wherever you want and just do whichever slots you like, you know? But yeah, that, that's okay there, I think. And then the last one, I think I'll put it near to the old scanner technologies. Oh, no, I'll put it near to the laser. We'll put it near to the laser. There we are, just in case we get some mining upgrades. But we are going to get given a um, staff at some point. And it would have been nicer to have put those slots inside of our staff, wouldn't it? But there we are. Well, anyway, we've collected the Atlantean head shield for now, people. I might fly up to the old station and go and put on my Atlantean head shield. Just so I can get a lovely picture for my fun now. Uh, I mean, I might as well rock the rest of this expedition with the new head shield and stuff like that. And also, I didn't go in the station to expand my exosuit. So I'm just going to go do that before I end off. But yeah, that's pretty much phase two all done. Okay, so just to the left of this thing that we use to actually get our exosuit slotted. Chicka boom, chicka pow. Is this machine here? This is the appearance modifier. Chicka pow. And I'm already the race of anomaly, which wears this head type. So if I go to head now, I've got number 22, the Atlas head shield. Look at that. Now, if I change that to markings level four, I get an optional color marking. Oh, and look at that. Isn't that snazzy? Oh, that looks freaking lush, doesn't it? Cool, yeah, we would have that for now, people. There we go. And that's how you can stick your head on. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. Well, let's uh, just jump in my ship, add my ship, create another save. And that's how I'm going to be looking for the rest of my playthrough, people. I know, it's wondrous, isn't it? Freaking great. Okay, cool, yeah. All right, well, there we are, people. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope to see you for the next one and all that sort of shizzle. So, yeah, that was phase two. I figured that I might as well carry on doing these tips videos on the best sort of way to unlock all the badges. There might be one that people get stuck on and you might not want to watch the full playthrough because that contained all the spoilers with the lore and stuff like that on my PC one. So this one, I'm just trying to keep it short, more concise, entertaining and fun and educational at the same time. If you're liking what I'm doing, smash that subscribe button. I know you hear it so often on YouTube. Probably don't even have to say it. It probably comes as automatic these days. But yeah, thank you very much for your support. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.